Good morning there friends and neighbors, Bobby here today. Hey, I walked out here behind the garage and I had an idea that I might be able to make a video on this old uh, lawnmower sitting out here. Uh, is it a lawnmower? I don't know. What is all this craziness? What's all these metal pipes and everything attached to it? Well, friends, I'm going to dig this thing out and drag it into the garage and I'm going to explain to you what this crazy lawnmower does. Okay guys, hey, we got our little uh, lawnmower here in the shop now, and I <clears throat> took the blower and blew the leaves off of it, and I'm just going to kind of show you this apparatus that I have fabricated and attached to this old lawnmower, and then I'll try to explain to you what it is, okay? All right. What it is, several years ago, I was really interested in um, trying to... Um, make a vehicle go further on gasoline, stuff like that. I've done a lot of research and I ran across this uh, guy that had invented this thing called a GEET, G-E-E-T. Not exactly sure what that stands for. It actually stands for something, but his name is Paul Pantone. I believe he's since passed away. Um, I think he also might've done a little time in jail uh, for conspiracy, but anyway, there's lots of videos and information on the internet about these things. I mean, this is nothing that I invented, but uh, I was so intrigued with the idea of it, I, I tried to make one for myself. And actually this thing did work. And I'm gonna explain to you, uh, and I might draw some pictures of actually how this thing works and give you a better idea of it. But anyway, the carburetor is no longer on this vehicle, okay? The carburetor has been done away with. And what we've basically done here is create our own uh, carburetor and intake system and exhaust system and everything. Everything's been modified, okay? Uh, we'll start down here. This is the gas tank. I think it was an old orange juice jug. There's a pipe run down through that with a slash cut on it that goes all the way to the bottom of it. And you can put gasoline, you can put alcohol, you can put all different types of fuels in it. And I'll explain why here in just a little bit. Um, you can mix stuff with it, Mountain Dew or what have you, okay? This other pipe just barely goes into the top of it, okay? So you got a pipe with a slash cut going down into liquid fuel. And then you got this uh, drawing in just vapor, okay? Vapor goes through this pipe wraps around through this hose okay there is a ball valve here to regulate that amount of flow okay it goes through this pipe right here into the fuel plasma reactor okay and that's what this right here is and i'll have to explain to you exactly what that is here in a little bit from that after it goes through the reactor goes right around here, goes into the intake port, okay? The intake port of the little engine. Right here is another ball valve that allows you to bring in some fresh air. And as you can see, one time I had an air filter on here, and now you can see that it's just about rotted away. Okay, so that's the um, intake side of the system. Let's talk about the exhaust, okay? Here's the exhaust. Notice that the exhaust comes up here and it goes through the fuel plasma reactor also. Ain't that interesting? And then it ports out right here. And this is another little added device that I added on here. This is actually a cylinder within a cylinder, okay? And the exhaust can pass around the center cylinder. And here's another ball valve to where I could control back pressure by opening the valve. I could control back pressure on the engine. And what this was supposed to do <clears throat> was heat up. I had motor oil inside here, okay? And my thought process was to heat the motor oil up enough to turn it into a vapor to where it could be drawn into our intake source again regulated with a ball valve and we could actually burn some raw used motor oil back in through our fuel plasma reactor wow mint hillbilly how the hell did you do that well you know 
it was a lot of work to do this. Uh, I actually did get it working. Uh, my experiments uh, that I'd done, I never was actually able to uh, say if this actually burned less fuel or what have you than a regular lawnmower and a regular carburetor. I, did, I got kind of frustrated with it when my oil thing didn't work. And uh, I just kind of give up on it. It sat behind the garage for several years. And I'm not going to try to get this thing running again. It's just uh, I don't have time to fool around with it. But I thought it was an interesting little uh, <clears throat> uh, piece of art here that I would try to explain to you guys. There's plenty of uh, information on the Internet about it. You can Google Paul Pantone. You can Google GEET, G-E-E-T, and you can get a better understanding. Now, I will go through a little bit here on the whiteboard and try to explain to you a couple things about this system, and maybe that'll give you a little bit better explanation. Okay, guys, here at the whiteboard, let's see if I can explain this a little bit better. I'll try to draw this whole thing out. Maybe you can understand it. Um, first of all, let's start with the gas tank. Like I said, the gas tank was just a um, oil... I'm sorry, orange juice jug, okay? It had a piece of metal pipe run down into it with a slash cut on the end of it, okay? Coming out to uh, air. Air could come into that, okay? Atmospheric pressure. Then, in the top of this, let's make sure you see what I'm doing here right quick. I think you can. There's another piece of rubber hose going down in here, about two inches or so, and then it ran from there over to our, I'll draw that here in just a minute. So anyway, whatever fuel you put in here, okay, there would be a vacuum on this fuel tank, okay? So this stuff here would be bubbling and acting like crazy inside here because it's drawing air through this pipe and causing all this stuff here to bubble up and everything. Therefore, everything that went into the engine was a vapor, okay? Whether it be gasoline, alcohol, a mixture of both. Uh, you could throw some Mountain Dew in there, um, whatever. I never could quite um, knew for sure if it was actually burning the, the, um, the uh, other products that I was putting in there. I mean, there's some people that claim, you know, they, get, they're a lot, they know a lot more about this than I do but they, they claim that you are actually able to get the vapor <clears throat> up into the engine, take it through the fuel plasma reactor, okay? So let's just draw, let's draw the reactor, okay? Let's see if I can draw that. Big enough to where you can kind of tell what's going on here. Now the reactor is a pipe within a pipe and then there is a pipe inside here. Okay, so this is a two separate chambers inside this reactor, all right? And here's our, we're gonna go ahead and bring our intake into this side. The intake mixture is gonna run through the reactor in this direction, okay? Okay? And then from here, it's running over to the intake port of the engine, okay? All of it's running in that direction. Okay, now inside here, <clears throat> you you have a pipe, okay? Not, not a pipe, but like a rod, like a, like a push rod or something, okay? And it just floats. Supposedly, when this thing is working correctly, this metal rod will just float inside here. And the way I kept the rod in there is I actually, I had a nail running through the pipe down here to keep it from going too far that way. And I had a nail up here or some type of metal rod keeping it from where it wouldn't go past a certain point, okay? Now, ideally, this acts as a venturi effect, okay? Just like on a carburetor. You know, the, the venturi is smaller because where that smaller orifice is is you create a much stronger vacuum to atomize fuel. So... Got vaporized fuel coming in here, hitting a venturi effect, okay? Now, supposedly, um, depending on the size of this rod, the length of this rod, you could burn different types of fuels. If you're burning a real light fuel like propane, you, you use a shorter rod. 
gasoline, you need a little bit longer rod. Something like used motor oil, you need an even longer rod, okay? And I'm not sure, I didn't take the time to, I just stuck some rod in there and it, it ran, it ran on gas, it ran on throwing some other stuff in there, but never really took this to the total limit to see what it could actually do. All right, so this mixture running to the intake, okay? We basically made a carburetor. Basically, you know, and if we can, if we got some ball valves regulating some air, you know, up here, bring some more air in. We got a ball valve back here where we can regulate the amount of fuel going in here. We basically made a carburetor. You know, it doesn't have an accelerator pump system or anything like that, but on a fixed engine running at a certain RPM, this works, okay? It's basically a carburetor. Now, what Pantone's claim was was that this made a fuel reactor, was he took the exhaust side of the engine, okay, and ran it here on the outside. On a chamber that went around this pipe here, we had exhaust gases flowing this away, okay? All the way around this pipe, there's exhaust gases flowing this away. And then we had an exit up here for the exhaust. And remember we had a ball valve where we could regulate back pressure. We also had that other little thing where we tried to <clears throat> tried to heat up some motor oil, but that, that never worked. But anyway, this is the theory behind it. You got intake gases going this way. You have exhaust gases going this way, okay? And supposedly this creates some type of magnetic field that actually create, makes this rod float right in the middle of that center pipe. And it also claims to take this vaporized fuel going in as a vapor and turning it into a plasma state. Now, simple definition of a plasma state is like water is H2O, okay? H2O. Two parts hydrogen, one part oxygen, okay? And they're combined. And if they're in a vapor state, is still H2O in a vapor state. But supposedly his claim was if it went through this reactor, <clears throat> it would turn into the plasma state, which is H plus H plus O, okay? Two parts hydrogen, one part oxygen. And as we know, hydrogen is an explosive gas and it would actually burn the hydrogen. It would break down the molecules, turn it into a plasma state, and actually burn anything and everything that you run through this plasma reactor, okay? All right, friends, that's about all I know about this. I built one, it worked, it ran. It was kind of aggravating to keep running. I was a little scared of uh, the operation because you got fuel over here bubbling and acting all crazy in here. And I was afraid I was gonna get some type of backfire and actually catch something on fire. So my experimentation stopped at that point. This thing sits at the behind, behind my garage, uh, as you saw with leaves collecting on it. I'll probably take it to the scrapyard one day, but uh, I don't know, it's kind of a unique piece. I may hang around, let it hang around a while. So, but anyway, that's basically what this is. If you want to find out more about it, uh, just do some Google searches you'll find out some information. This ain't nothing new. It's nothing that I invented or anything, but I uh, just thought it was kind of interesting. I thought I could make a little video on it today. Well, friends, don't forget to uh, like our video, subscribe, tell a friend about us, and we'll see you next time. Take care.